This is David with the Shepherd School, and as you can see here, I've got a little bit of apple juice, or what we call in America apple cider, which is just unfiltered juice. Everywhere else, apple cider is has some alcohol in it, um, but in America, we call that hard apple cider. So that's what we're going to make today. I've got some apple cider, got a little bit of frozen juice concentrate, some lavender yeast left over from the mead, which is doing well. I just put it into secondary fermentation. Taste a little bit of it. It was pretty good. You know it needed it needs some uh, mellowing, which will come in age. But I'll tell you, the orange slices that I put in there, they, they're pretty good. So they're in the fridge. But anyway, that's my meat. So, but we're going to make apple cider today, okay? And there's lots and lots of ways of doing this, and lots of different recipes. And I try to keep everything as simple as possible, and to use as few uh, brewing. Uh, wine making chemicals as possible even though um, the chemicals allow you to make a more consistent wine with specific tastes okay but uh, I'm trying to learn how to do this without it in case I ever need to make it and I can't get it okay so got some frozen apple juice that I've let fall and the reason that I'm putting this in here is because it's got more sugar in it don't really need to do it. I could just put regular sugar in there instead. This is some really good stuff. It was like seven dollars a gallon at the local uh, restaurant supply house. I like just drinking it. Most recipes call for heating that up a little bit, but I find that I really don't need to because everything is, is um, already processed. If I was using juice from the apples that I'm trying to grow outside, drop the yeast in, then I would um, I'd boil it or use Canton tablets or something to uh, kill off the other strains of yeast so I'd only get the yeast that I wanted. And I'm going to leave the rest of this because I like drinking it. Got a bone and an airlock, a two-piece airlock. And there's a little line. I don't know if you can see it, that you fill up the water to, and that lets this thing lift up to let the carbon dioxide out. I'm just going to stick it in my jug. Okay. I'm going to put that in a warm, dark place and come back in, in a couple months, even though I shake it every now and again. Okay. This should start bubbling tomorrow so I'll come back and let you see it bubbling. Okay so next day my mead bubbling just a little bit if we shake it um, and that's fine because really there shouldn't be a whole lot going on because it's been fermenting for a couple months. But this one, the fresh one, the apple cider, it's bubbling just on its own. Okay let me show you something. If I shake it okay. Hold on. If I shake it, man, it goes crazy. It's really active. All right. So we'll come back, do another video um, later when this is good to go. But until next time, you can always catch up on www.tngun.com. This is David with the Shepherd School, and as you can see here, I've got a little bit of apple juice, or what we call in America apple cider, which is just unfiltered juice. Everywhere else, apple.